Good afternoon and welcome to Friday with Fiona. Um, so today we are focusing on the Kidding Around. I think I've called it Just Kidding, which is the designer series paper. But the um, dies and the stamp set are actually called Kidding Around and they are fun. Um, so I've got three lovely cards for you today. And you can see the host code. If you spend £30 or more in my online store using that host code, I will send you the kit to make three, the three, two each of the three designs. So six cards altogether. I can't send you the stamped images. So you either need to get the stamp set uh, and the dies or the designer series paper. And you can use um, the designer series paper to cut them out from that. Um, also, I just wanted to remind you so today is the ninth and we've got 13 more days of celebration let me just remove that and there we go it's going on at the bottom now but it's the last as well as the last less than two weeks 13 days to sign up and get the glass studio which is this this mat um the silicone layer mat which i've got here i've got some bits on it so that's why it's, i've moved it out of the way and the amazing um chamois so um i'll just move it out of the way because i haven't got enough room otherwise um so you've got 13 more days love to have you join my team crafters with heart um if you need any more information please contact me and i'd um happy to answer any questions you've got so let's get you to my hands now i have um i have changed my camera setup so hopefully you're closer uh to what i'm doing be able to see a bit better i'm aware there's some glare so i'm going to try and cover that up right and hopefully have enough room okay so i've got three what i think are gorgeous cards um this is the first one I've used as your afternoon, which I haven't used much, but beautiful blue. I love blues, beautiful blue. Um, and I have used the designer series paper. So um, I think there is a little bit of die cutting, well, a little bit of stamping, colouring and die cutting, but I've done as much as I can. Um, let's see if I can move that. Yeah, okay. So as I said, the designer series paper is called just kidding um, and it is really fun um, let me get it out of you nope nope it's hiding why is it hiding there it is so you've got background so this is the background we're going to use now and then on the other side you've actually got the kids um, which you can use the dies for or you can fussy cut they don't work on the dies don't work on this one um, and then there's this sheet which is oh I've already cut it up but these two you can get six by six or you can trim it down to regular and then you've got more um, fun so you've got the swing um, I think that's supposed to be a waterfall and then the forest with the rain and on the back you've got my kids um but it is just really fun and i have a couple of four-year-old nieces and i'm going to be making lots of cards for them to give to their friends with this so uh, as i said i've got most of the stuff ready there's just uh, a little bit of um stamping and i've also refilled my seal and seal plus so i don't run out halfway through so I'm just going to pop this. So the card base is my usual size, half of A4. So 21 by 10 point, no, yeah, 21 by 14.8, scored in half at 10.5. So there's your half A4 and then scored at 10.5. Um, and which way do I go that, that way? Yes. Just checking your own, you can see what I'm doing. Let's cover that glare up there okay and you can also see the final just trying to get that on straight okay then i've taken a bit of um daffodil delight which is seven widths by ten across and i'm just going to stamp that in daffodil delight with the stars so let's get 
block. I don't need the stamps just yet. So I want the stars. And I'm just going to stamp really, really randomly. Um, and they are going to get covered up, but, you know, who cares? And normally I would turn my stamp around like that. And I think my daffodil delight needs re-inking. Okay, so I really wasn't careful with how I did that. Um, but as I said, a lot of it's going to be covered up anyway. And I've just cleaned my chamois as well. So um, I let it dry out and it was smelling a bit. There we go. Um, oh, I'm warm, I've got all these lights on. And it's so mild today, even with the window open. Okay, and then the other bit of stamping I'm going to do is this in their pretend boat. Um, so let's, I'm going to need a big, a big block for that. Let's pop this on. So across the middle, really, of the card base. So I'm going to try and work that out. I'm just going to eyeball it if you wanted to. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just a fraction up. Like so. There we go. That should be about halfway. And then I need a bigger block for this. And I'm going to stamp it in memento because I'm going to do some colouring. So it should just fit on there. Yes. And I've got my stars and the labels and everything else ready. Perfect. Clean that in a minute. Right. So I need Melamano, Poppy Parade, Nice of Navy. No, that's Misty. Lemon lolly, oh no, Daffodil Delight because we've done Daffodil Delight. And I'll go back for any more I need. So, what's the sun? And I'm not going to colour carefully, I'm just going to get it done. Mella Mambo for her dress. And then I've got the. Um, The special ones for I can't remember what they're called the skin tones and you can choose the skin tones that you want to use I'm really not being careful here um, his hat is poppy parade so I'm not blending at all I'm just coloring And I didn't want to have it all done because um, I think sometimes it's nice for you to see what's involved. There we go. And we've got some yellow for his shirt. Daffodil delight. Talking of daffodils, it's really weird. Normally, daffodils are the first flowers we see. Oh, and they flag. And there's not a single one to be seen at the moment. Loads of crocuses and snowdrops and even blossom, but not a daffodil in sight. Bizarre. Okay, so then she's going to have smoky slate hair. And I need the skin tones. So, and the baby as well could be light. I used to use my petal pink 
for skin tones until I got these. That is a bit pink. I do have a bit more yellow. And the hands and the arms. Mustn't forget those. And for him, obviously the hair. Oh gosh. Now what you can do with the hair, like I did on the other one, I used my um, colour lifter to make some of it lighter. But as I say, I'm just literally whipping through to to get it done and his hair Therapeutic colouring, but I have a friend who does not. So sorry to talk to party on these. Okay, so I'm going to do their little boat, and some of it's not going to be seen at all, but that's okay. In fact, I'm not going to use it other end. I think on my that. It's not the label's not at the right angle, so you might get to see a bit more. There we go. Right, Knight of Navy. That's supposed to be a fish. I'm not sure. Sorry about the squeaking. It's because I'm going fast. Okay. So, oh, I haven't coloured her heart in in Poppy Parade. Let's give him. And the baby. And the girl. There we go. And on this one later. And I'm just going to bring in my mini cut and emboss machine. So I think I've kept this for each one, just the, the kids. Dry. I really do love this. It's such a fun set. I'm not sure if this one or the last one is my favourite. I like, to be honest, I love them all. Right, now, just lining that up, and I might need to put a bit of post-it tape on C. Whoops. But the camera doesn't shake. Fabulous, so easy. And that's taken us what five minutes, maybe more. Right, okay. Bring our card back in. And I need to stamp the sentiment. So I did You Are Amazing in 
Poppy Parade. Oh, I think I've reinked this because it wasn't coming up very red, it was coming pink. Fingers crossed. Okay, there we go. So just need to put it all together now and then that will be card one done. So that's going to go on with some dimensionals. Birds singing is absolutely crazy, even though it's I don't think it's actually pouring rain right now, but it has been. Okay, so I'm gonna pop them on at an angle, and I did them a bit too high on that one, so I'm just gonna bring it down a bit on there. And that you are amazing needs to be at the same angle. I did it at a funny angle on that one. So these are gonna go along there. I knew I was missing something. I'm missing a heart. Now, I do have some hearts. They're not, they're not red. Do you know what? I'm just going to colour it with my Poppy Parade to save getting another one out. These are from the... Um, I can't remember. Adorable something. I'm going to have to hold it up. It's going to go on my mat. Actually, it doesn't matter. I can wipe it off. That's the brilliant thing about the glass mat. Okay. So it's coming out quite dark because it's on top of um, this pool party. Quick, oh, I'm sorry, that was quicker than um, trying to die cut one. And we're just going to pop that there. No, we're not. I'm going to move it over there. Okay. And I didn't put that underneath there either. More speed. No, more haste, less speed, isn't it? So I'm going to just push that under like that. line it up and then go right oh i haven't done my stars where are my stars there they are oh look i did have a heart oh for goodness sake never mind and what about my i have got that as well right let's take that star off that heart off even as it doesn't look good yay i have a heart so it can go there and then these have got um, adhesive sheets on the back of them so they become like stickers which is brilliant when they're really fiddly like this and that's going to go across the heart like that and then the same with my stars I've got three stars One. and hopefully the little bits are coming out as I pull the adhesive sheets off so I don't have to spend time getting them out that's a funny shaped star I don't like it that way it's a bit that way and there should be a set oh there it is okay right there you go that's card one Love it, absolutely love it. Right, let's clear some space and move quickly on 
to card number two. I've probably got red all over me. Um, okay, this one is Berry Burst. And again, it's another colour I haven't really used, but it, it's, it is really lovely, very bright. Okay, so we've got a matte layer of Berry Burst. And again, I'm going to stamp the stars. I'm going to clean some bits up first. Um, stars. There we go. And I'm not sure I'm saying you're amazing. No, I'm not saying you're amazing anymore. So that can go away. But I need great for kids. So I need Berry Burst. doesn't want to come out come on there we go hot under these lights and i'm just gonna again randomly stamp yeah i think my daffodil delight definitely needs re-inking because they're coming up much better on this um I need to concentrate really going around the edges because the middle is going to be completely covered up. I think because it's, it's juicy so it's gone right around the edges and on the side oh that must be the puppy parade okay. right so we're going to mat and layer that And then I've got some pieces of the designer series paper. And these are <clears throat> uh, just a quick slurp. Three centimeters by eight centimeters and four and a half by seven and a half. And I'm just going to stick those down. On tape, okay, I'm not going to push that down there because that's going to go under. Under there, whoops. Mm, come on, right, that's going to go under there at an angle like that, and then the other side is going to go the other way. It's going to go like that. Right there, okay. Then I've got the label, and this is to stamp the little girl. That's to do the um, it's your birthday, and that's her stool. So her stool can go on the label. This always reminds me of the nursery rhyme. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet. Well, I don't know what a tuffet is, but I'm assuming it's a stool. Let's get that ready. And then I'm going to just stamp the little girl. Do I need more stars? No, I don't need more stars so they can go away. Memento again. Okay. 
and this time she was a bit too pink in the face there let's try one down Got a face. They're quite cheeky, these uh, little characters. That's better, much better. Um, now I need Berry Burst for her. Or her little hairband and her pencil. I'll do her shoes as well. And then her dress is going to be old olive. I did have blonde there. Yeah, let's just use Daffodil Delight Speed. It will lighten when um, it dries and there's the sun right so now I just need all color for his dress missed a bit of the hair I've also just spotted a bit of her arm as well I don't want to paint her arm with I need the skin tone. There we go. That's better. Um, now I can go over this. This old olive always reminds me of my school uniform. They called it bottle green. Like it was like it, it was almost exactly this colour. And we had red and green ties. Right, I'm not going to spend any more time on how much as I'd like to because the time is getting on. I didn't. I thought these would be quick, but do you know what? They're not. <laughs> so let's get the little girl cut out. I like the little girl, but. I think the next one. Um, so on the top of my blog, it says um, about crafting and making magic. So, and I do anything magical. So I think the next one is kind of my favourite. And when you see it, you'll understand why. Okay. So they, you know, they're not hard to cut out and they are quite quick. I might have to do the little, I think I have got to do my little boy in a minute. Okay, so let's bring the card base back in. I've got my label already and I'm just going to pop her on it. Now, I've kept everything flat um, to keep the postage costs down, but she does really need to be um, popped up. So let's just put a couple of dimensionals on her. I 
and she is standing on that stool. There we go. And then that is going to go on flat. I'll use wet glue for that. Okay, and then in um, Craft White, I don't know why they call it Craft White. Oh, they don't anymore. Yes, they do. Craft, who knows why they call it Craft White. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, do the sentiment. Uh, it's your birthday. I'm running out of blocks. Okay, it's your birthday in white. And then just trim it. Uh, that is really not showing very well. So I think I'm just gonna quickly embossing powder over it that would be better It's tacky, the bee is tacky. Come on. That's the other thing about the glass map. Um, I don't know if you can hear me then. I don't know, that's the other thing about the glass map. You can heat on it as well. Right, that's okay. So I'm just getting my little trimmer. We're going to trim that down. Um, I did debate using a label for this, but it, it kind of didn't fit. Um, there's not an awful lot of room. Uh, so because she's on um, dimensionals, I can use dimensionals for this. So I'm just going to pop a couple and tuck it under there. It's your birthday. Okay, and there's card two. So very cute. Now, this one I really do think is my favourite. Right, let me just do a quick bit of cleaning because I will forget and my stamps will end up looking awful. That's that one. which doesn't want to come off the block. And last but not least, the little girl. There we go. Okay, so now I've got my blocks back. I'm just throwing a blend on the floor. 
I'm going to need, what am I going to need for this one? Poppy Parade. That will do. Just Poppy Parade. So this one, yay, I think he is my favourite. He is a magician. Okay. So I'm going to create some magic. Let's get our little Merlin. Okay, so I've got um, a little piece of designer series paper. Oops, just dropped my flag. Go one flag. I don't know if I dropped two. Well, if I dropped one, I have to make do with just one. So it shouldn't be stuck on. It's pool party card base, exactly the same size as the others. And then I have got um, a piece of white which measures eight by 11 centimeters. And then this piece of pool party is seven and a half by 10 and a half. Okay, so that's gonna sit on there so we can glue that one down. I like the bookshelves with the dragon. I just thought the dragon, I tried to get the dragon to show um, because as I see, I keep calling him Merlin and Certainly the TV program that I used to watch with Merlin he had a dragon. So um, let's pop this one on as well. Uh, yeah, I did take this off a previous base. I wanted to reuse it. So there we go. Let's get this on. And then this layer can go on as well. Now then with the dies, which is the cool, so you don't have a stamp for that with the dies, you have um, a tower and a, and a gateway to make a castle out of. So um, that's kind of what I've done. So let's pop this down here. I want to try and get the dragon to show. There we go. Okay, so I've got my two towers and I've got my archway. Now they will go on with um, uh, dimensionals. Can't think of the word there. Dimensionals. There we go. So let's start putting them. So the two towers. Well, the, that goes on flat, and then the two towers go either side. So let's just work out where they're going to go. Okay, if I keep my dimensionals on the right, and line them up with the, just a little bit of the pool party is showing. And then I can slide my, um, so again, that's this side. I'll be able to slide my archway in flat. And just line that up. Makes me think of Windsor Castle. And then that's going to go down like that. So I just need a bit of wet glue. Whoops, a daisy. Everything's, can't think of the phrase, everything's going something. Push that down there. There we go. And then, I, oh, I, do you know what? I don't think I'd split these apart. I cut two together and I think they are still together. I'm hoping. Maybe not. Might help if I put my glasses on. Just it's not one on the floor. Oh, there is. 
here we go. So one's going to go that away. So coming out of the top of there. And that's going to go the other way. Oops. That should be a bit straighter. Here we go. Right, then we've got some building blocks, which I'm just going to glue down. Use that and then I'm gonna wipe that off and pop that on my silicon mat. And all we've got to do is stamp the sentiment and stamp the little man. So you sparkle every day. That's lovely. I really do think that is lovely. I just bought um a mug for my uh, daughter-in-law, an outdoor mug, which I thought was a great idea, so it doesn't get broken if you have it outside. Um, and it has her name on it, it says, and it says she sparkles, and I just think oh, that's such a nice thing to say. Right, so what are we back to again? Uh, Poppy Parade. Yes. You sparkle every day. It's not brilliant. I can't believe how quickly that's drying out. I need to re-ink it again. And I need my My Little Merlin. And we're going to colour him in Poppy Parade. So I've got to set a zoom up for my husband soon. So just keeping an eye on the time should have enough time to get this done. I love this little gown that he's wearing, real magician's gown. But he's got bunny ears slippers on, which is so cute. So I did do those in um, red before, but I'm actually going to do them in Daffodil Delight this time. Just so you can see them really. And if I do another line there, that will go darker. And I'll come back and do that again in a minute. Right, Daffodil Delight. And then we need to do his face. Because they don't really show when they're in the red. Cute. And we'll do his 
wand, which is going to hold his saying and smoky slate. And I need to do his skin. Again, it was a bit pink in that first one. Here we go, die cutting again. Let's get the Monsieur Merlin. cutting for today. Here we go. Monsieur Merlin. Where is the red? Once more with the poppy parade. I'll tell you the other thing which I forgot to do on the others is um yeah. I think of Stella. That really helps his uh, bit of sparkle there because he is saying he's got sparkle. Okay, so now we just need to, I mustn't lose that. Let's pop that away now before I do lose it. That was the first one. This is our next one so i'm going to pop him onto dimensionals is going to hang off his wand so that will have a dimensional underneath it Let's see if one's enough yes right so there's card three i do think that's i love the dragon and uh my little merlin i think that is and can you see the wink of stella Okay, so that's card three. And then card two is Berry Burst. I've forgotten the camera's so much closer. And then card one. So all very different colours. I'd love to know which is your favourite. I love this one as well. Oh, God, I love this one and this one are my favourite. That's a, I do like it, but, but it's not uh, my, I think it's blues and greens are mine. So, okay, thanks very much for watching. Next week, uh, Friday Wolf Fiona will be what will it be next week oh it's going to be easter gosh goodness gracious me because um this what did i say i said it was the ninth i'm crazy it's not the ninth today it's the 16th and next week will be the 23rd so we will only be four five weeks away from easter so that will be next week. And I have some fun projects to share with you um, then. So don't forget, you've only got 13 more days to earn celebration products. Spend 30 pounds in my shop and I will send you everything you need to make except the stamped images uh, to each of the three cards. So you'll get six. I will send you the die cuts, but I can't send you the stamped images or the sentiments. You will need to use 
get those um and if you spend 45 you will qualify for a celebration purchase and i'll also send you a pack of gems and you will also get my free tutorial the 11 11 demonstrators tutorial so thanks very much for watching have a wonderful weekend and i hope to see you